Dear dentist and dental students, in this presentation, I am going to explain the dental casting procedure in a very simplified and easy to understand manner so that even a beginner can understand. I have explained the procedure with the graphical images for better understanding. In this presentation, I will explain about the procedure of converting a wax pattern into a metal casting which can be cemented in patient's prepared tool. There are so many techniques in use for the dental casting procedure. One of the oldest and most widely used technique for doing the dental castings with superior accuracy is lost wax technique. Let's see about the lost wax technique of dental casting. I am Dr. Benin. If you are a dental student or a dentist, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel Smart Dentistry. I will make videos that will be useful for dental students and dental practitioners. Let's consider this as a tooth which is indicated for a full coverage restoration that is a crown. The same procedure can be followed for casting inlays, onlays, crowns, fixed partial dangers, cast partial dangers and so on. In this presentation, let's see the casting procedure for a single tooth crown. The first step is to do the tooth preparation so that the tooth can receive a crown. All the fundamental principles of tooth preparation should be followed. Once the tooth preparation is complete, an impression tray is selected which fits the arch size of the patient's jaw. Once tray is selected, impression material is loaded in the impression tray. Then it is placed over the prepared tooth in the patient's mouth to obtain an impression. Dye stone is mixed and poured without any air entrapment to get a replica of the prepared tooth. This is called as a dye. Over this dye, using inlay wax, the wax pattern is constructed. This wax pattern should have the anatomy, morphology and all resemblances to that of the tooth. A small piece of cylindrical wax called as sprue is attached to the bulkiest portion of the wax pattern which will act as a pathway for the entry of the molten metal in later steps. Around 2 to 3 mm from the position of the attachment of the sprue to the wax pattern, a reservoir is attached. Now the construction of wax pattern is complete. Let's now prepare for the casting procedure. A crucible former, which is often made of a flexible material, is placed on the bottom. Wax pattern with the attached sprue former is fixed to the crucible former. We are seeing the wax pattern in cross section for better understanding. Next step is to place the casting ring, which is usually made of metal with one end contacting the crucible former and other end is open. Once it is aligned, casting ring liner is placed inside the casting ring. This casting ring liner will get burned out along with the wax during burnout process. This will create some space which will be utilized for expansion of the investment. All metals when solidifies from a liquid state will undergo shrinkage. This expansion of the investment is essential to compensate for the metal shrinkage. Next step is to mix the investment material which can be a gypsum bonded investment for gold alloys and phosphate bonded investment for base metal alloys is mixed and the casting ring is filled. Care should be taken to avoid air entrapment. The wax pattern gets entrapped inside the investment material. The investment is allowed to set completely before the next step. Once the investment is completely set, the crucible former is removed. This complete setup is taken to a burnout furnace. Burnout furnace acts as a heat source and warms up the entire setup of casting ring and investment. Once a higher temperature is reached inside the burnout furnace, the wax pattern will get molten and the wax gets evaporated through the sprue space. This procedure of wax elimination is called as wax burnout. At the end of burnout process, 
there will be an empty space which was previously occupied by the wax pattern and sprue farmer. This empty space inside the investment is called as mold space. Still the casting ring investment setup is hot, it is transferred to a casting machine. The casting ring is placed in close proximity to the crucible. A crucible which is usually made of clay is very important for the casting procedure. It has space for addition of alloy and it can withstand very high temperature. Then the metal alloy is added as per requirement and the alloy is melted. Once the alloy becomes completely molten and in liquid consistency, the casting machine is activated. The casting machine rotates at a high speed thus pushing the molten metal into the mold space. After the completion of the casting, the entire setup is allowed to cool to room temperature. The casting ring is removed followed by retrieval of the casting from the investment. The attached sprue farmer is removed by sectioning and all the impurities especially the investment which is present on the surface must be cleaned. This can be done easily with the help of sandblasting. The retrieved casting is then finished and polished. The fit of the casting is verified in the dye. Once it is perfect, it can be tried in patient's mouth and cementation can be done. This is all about the casting procedure. I hope everyone understood the simplified process of dental casting using last wax technique. Thank you. Have a nice day.